Thursday Walkthrough, brought to you by Carl, the official health care provider of Fighting Illini Athletics. Welcome back to the Thursday Walkthrough. Martin O'Donnell joined, as always, by Coach Lovey Smith. And, Coach, coming off of a bye week, how did your staff spend this bye week being the second one of the year? Well, Martin, a little bit different than, than we did the first time around. You know, first time's early in the year, uh, so we kind of, we did, I would say, a little bit more probably uh, early on with recruiting. Uh, uh, we wanted to flood it, you know, a little bit bigger area. But we also had a chance, too, to evaluate what we were going to do, uh, you know, on the football field. Second time around, now it's kind of established what we want to do football-wise a little bit. So, again, it's always about recruiting. It's also an excellent time to let the team heal up a little bit. But we spend a little bit more time with our, you know, with our current roster here. Well, and, you know, you mentioned it that obviously bye weeks are a chance to kind of look at yourself, do some self-scouting. Given where this came in the year and, you know, a little bit banged up, I mean, from a physical standpoint, did you guys pull off the gas a little bit in terms of the players? Yes, and I think that's a must. As much as anything on what you're trying to do this bye week, especially if you know that you're going to continue to play. There's a lot more football left to go. So for us, that was priority number one. And we were a little banged up. It's been a, you know, grueling physical season we've gone through you know, with 10 games on our belt right now. And so, yes, we did that. And but you you pull back physically, but I think you increase what you do mentally. And that's what we tried to do. Absolutely. Well, and I, and I think, you know, obviously, you know, one word I think a lot of people would use to describe you is consistent. And I think, you know, consistency in terms of, you know, your approach to the bye week and the recruiting aspect of it. Was the reaction to you and your staff going out there a little bit different this time versus the previous bye week? I'll say absolutely also. Um, you know, I've talked an awful lot, Martin, about, you know, we talk a lot about the facility. We needed that facility. But we needed to show everyone that, uh, that we would have a better product on the football field this year. And now we have, a, you know, 10 games on our belt. I think we'd all would agree that we're headed. We're trending in the right direction. The football that we're displaying each week is better. So we've been uh, people listening to us more. Not that they weren't before, but they definitely are now. Well, and I think, you know, you mentioned that the, the style of football, and I think one of the things that's been a trademark of teams that you've been around is the takeaway aspect, leading the country in takeaways at 26. Take, take us back to the genesis of that. When, when did you really decide that taking the football away was going to be just an absolute core tenant of your coaching philosophy? Well, you know, as these years pile on a little bit, I just can't really pinpoint one year. It seemed like that's been a, a base part of what I and seemed like we believe for a long period of time. You know, people are talking more now about what you actually do, and it was just kind of, you know, behind the scenes a little bit then. But that's been a base part of our DNA. Because you're trying to, as a coach, okay, what do you need to do to win football games? I think all coaches would tell you since the beginning of time, the turnover ratio is important. And on the defensive side, you control that. Whenever there's a play and a ball, a live ball, you have a chance to take the ball away. But you can't just give lip service to something. You have to preach it constantly and teach it. And that's exactly what we do. Our coaches do a great job of it. Well, and this week, big game against the Iowa Hawkeyes. You know, obviously the game last year, 63-0. to zero. Is that going to come up at all during the week, that final score? You know, I've been asked that a little bit. How can it not? I mean, it's not, you know, I've been coaching a long period of time, but I can't say that, that I've been on a team that's been beaten uh, soundly like that very often. So when you play a game like that, you want a chance to redeem yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah, and um, we have a lot of guys that, you know, guys of character, and a lot of us are embarrassed by that. And, we're, again, we're just excited we get a chance to, uh, to do something about it, and uh, the rematch is here. Well, and Coach, you know, certainly we're looking forward to, to going on the road, you know, another road game against, a, you know, a good Big Ten West opponent. And, you know, the Hawkeyes, it, it's always interesting looking at the mascots around the Big Ten. And, and so the Hawkeyes, you know, and obviously, you know, those are birds. And, you know, as I'm sure you know, I mean, birds are effectively descended from dinosaurs. So, so, so what's your favorite dinosaur? What's my favorite dinosaur? Um... I need an answer here. We'll, we'll let this well, go. Well, I'm you. trying to figure, you know, I try to straddle the fence from time to time. You don't say. I, <laughs> I have a lot of favorites. How's that? Uh, That's not good enough. Give, uh, me, throw, give me a favorite. A, a favorite? I couldn't really give you a favorite to be true. Really? I'm kind of stumped on that one. Okay. I'll give you, I'll give you Triceratops. <laughs> yeah. I, I would say when you have uh, 
younger children, you're probably more in tune to uh, dinosaurs a little bit more than well, I would probably would be. Now. I mean, they've been extinct for thousands of years. I mean, there, there, there's not much new. On, oh, I'm sure there is oh, new stuff. Don't, I don't need paleontology. I understand what you're saying. Segment now. Um, you know, the other thing I would say is, you know, we talk a lot about movies here, right? I, I think we, we, we both enjoy movies. Our families both enjoy movies. Have you ever seen the movie Field of Dreams? You know, I would, I'm ashamed to say I have not in its entirety. Okay. Okay. So I'll, I'll assume you've at least seen the one point where, you know, there it's Field of Dreams and, you know, this guy, you know, if you build it, they will yes, come and he builds I, it. Yes, I have. And, and out of the corn. Comes I've gotten to find points on the movie. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yes. And so out of the corn comes Shoeless Joe Jackson. And he asks if this is heaven. And Kevin Costner's character says, no, it's Iowa. So if heaven were a state, what state would it be for you? Oh, uh, you like layups. You play basketball with a layup, right? Yeah, I was this good. is kind of layup for me. You know, I've, I love being here in the state of uh, Illinois. I spent a lot of time here. So it's hard for me to beat that. But um, when you, where you, you're raised and where you're born, uh, that holds a special place for you. I, I kind of make it known where I'm from. So it's kind of, it's pretty hard to be both of those places. How's that? Yeah, okay, so it's both. That'll work. Well, Coach, thank you for your time, and thank you for stopping by the Thursday Walkthrough. The Thursday Walkthrough brought to you by Carl, the official health care provider of Fighting Illini Athletics. Looking for a card that gives you more? Illini Visa Rewards Card. Earn points every day to fly any airline, anytime, no blackout dates. The Illini Visa Rewards Card, available only through U of I Community Credit Union.